Hi friends, this is your tech expert Neil and you are watching HowISol.com. In today's video, I will show you how you can install TWRP temporarily on your Android device. This will be a guide which will not be specific to a particular Android model. Whenever there are some steps which are specific to Android model, I will mention that during the tutorial. You can then search for how to do that particular step for your particular device model. So what exactly I mean by temporary TWRP? So by temporary TWRP, I mean that you will not be installing it permanently on your Android device. So once you exit TWRP, you won't be able to reaccess it. Basically, we are booting into TWRP from the RAM and it's not been installed permanently on the phone storage. There are certain prerequisites for this particular guide. The bootloader of the phone should be completely unlocked. And if you have not unlocked it, I have got a dedicated guide for unlocking the bootloader. But before you head to that guide, I would like to mention that unlocking a bootloader will always erase the entire phone storage. So you will lose all the app data, all the contact details, everything on your phone that has not been backed up on the cloud. So if you have got some data on your phone, make sure to back it up before unlocking the bootloader. Okay, apart from phone with an unlocked bootloader, you'll also need a USB cable and a Windows computer. It can be either a PC or a desktop computer. You'll need a computer to send the commands to your phone to boot into TWRP. Apart from these requirements for your phone, there are certain requirements for your computer. You'll have to install ADB drivers as well as platform tools. I've got a dedicated guide of how you can do this. You can check that out. I'll provide those links down in the video description. So I'll assume that you have already installed ADB drivers on your computer as well as installed the platform tools. So with that set aside, without wasting much time, let's get started. The first thing we'll have to do in your phone will be to enable developer options. To do that, we'll have to enable developer mode. So we'll now head to our Android phone. Okay, friends, this is my Android phone and We'll go to the settings option, so swipe down once again and then click on the spanner icon to open the settings. Then we'll go down and in system, go in system, then in about phone, then click on the bill number five times. And by doing that, your developer mode will get enabled. Since I've already done this, it will show me that you are, do not need to do this as you're already a developer. You just have to tap five times on the bill number to enable developer mode. In the about phone section, you have to note down the model and the hardware. So over here you can see the model is Mi A1. For some phones, your model number will differ from the model name shown on this page. For phone released in different countries, there are different model numbers allocated. For example, in Samsung devices, this is the case. Like if Samsung device released in the US market has a different model number compared to a phone released in the UK market. So this model number will be used for downloading a TWRP image. So make sure to take a note of the model number in the about phone section. Okay, once the developer option is enabled and you have noted down the model number, we can now go back and then in the system settings, click on advanced and then go down. You will see the developer options present. Click on this and, and over here you should see OEM unlocking. If you have unlocked your bootloader, this option should be shown as enabled. Like in my case, it is showing enabled. If that is not the case, then you have to unlock the bootloader as mentioned before to boot TWRP as a temporary basis. And doing that will erase your phone. It will factory reset the device. So make sure to take a backup before doing OEM unlocking. I'll assume that you have already unlocked the bootloader and this option will be enabled if that is the case. And then we'll scroll down. And over here you will find USB debugging. Simply tap on USB debugging to enable it. Once you have enabled USB debugging, now we'll head back to our desktop and we'll download the TWRP image for your particular mobile phone model. So we'll go back to our desktop. Okay friends, we are on my desktop computer. We'll open the web browser and you have to go to the website twrp.me. This is the official TWRP website on this we will have to click on devices and over here we will type the model number that we took a note of in the about phone section. In my case, it is me A1. You can see this is the model number and this is the code name, a sort. So we'll open this page, scroll down 
and over here you will see the primary download links you can select a different mirror depending on your location i'll select the americas and over here you will see the image file we have to download the img file over here this is the latest version of twrp i've already downloaded it it's around 30 mbs inside as you can see over here so depending on your particular device this particular file has to be downloaded in if your mobile model number is something else like say for example realme 2 pro over here if this is the device model number then you have to type that and then again do the same thing go and download links the closest place which is nearest to you and download the img file once you get the twrp image for your particular mobile phone model the next step is to put your phone in fast boot mode to do that we'll open the command prompt as I mentioned before, I'm assuming that you have connected the device to your computer and using the USB cable and you have already installed ADB and Fastboot drivers and the platform tools which is essential for following this guide. If you have not done that, you can follow the guide down in the video description. I'll put the links for that. Okay, so we'll open CMD, hit enter to open it, command prompt. Now we'll head to the location where you have downloaded a TWRP image file. In my case, it is in the downloads folder. So I'll go to that location, type in CD downloads, and now we will put the phone into the fast boot mode. To do that, we'll first check whether the device is successfully connected via ADB or not. To do that, simply type ADB devices. If your device has been successfully connected to your computer, it will show the device serial number over here. If you are connecting the device for the first time via ADB, then you have to grant the permissions in your phone. So as soon as you type ADB devices on your phone, you will see that it's asking, do you want to authorize the com this computer to use your phone via ADB? So grant that permission. On doing that, from unauthorized over here, it will change to device. Okay, so you have successfully connected your phone to your computer via ADB. Now we'll put the phone in fast boot mode. To do that, simply type adb reboot and type bootloader like that on hitting enter your phone will reboot into the fast boot mode in fast boot mode you can boot any image file that you provide it with so we'll be just booting an image file without flashing it onto your storage so this will be completely safe and it will not cause any boot loop issue or it will not break your phone so in case your twrp image is not working we can test it out using this method okay so we'll hit enter and you can see that the phone just not disconnected from the computer and when it reconnects now again it reconnected now it's in fast boot mode and to check whether the fast boot mode has been detected by a computer we'll type fast boot devices and as you can see the device has been listed successfully over here if in case your device is not being shown in the fast boot mode by typing this command then there is some issue with the driver installation you either have to reinstall the driver or you have to manually install the fast boot drivers for your particular phone. If you are unaware of how to do that, there are several guides online. You can search the internet for how to debug this particular issue. Anyway, for our scenario, it has been successfully connected. So now we will boot the TWRP image from the fast boot mode. To do that, type the command fast boot boot and then the image file name. In my case, it is twrp.3.6090.tsort.img this image file that we just now downloaded for your particular phone model since i am in the same folder where the image has been downloaded i just have to provide the image name not the entire path when you hit enter this will reboot the phone in twrp and once you are in twrp you can get access to all the twrp features like flashing custom zip files taking a backup of your phone and even flashing a custom room. And that's how you get TWRP temporary access on an Android device. If you like this video, smack that like button, share this video with your friends and family, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, howisall.com. We'll be providing more such informative technology tips and tricks, guides, tutorials, and much more. Make sure to hit that bell icon to get notified as soon as we upload a new video. Thanks for watching friends. This is Neil signing off. Bye-bye.